Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I just want to quickly explain my channel and what I want to put on here and convey to everybody out in the world. I love family. I love traveling. I love eco-friendly living. I love gardening. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out all these things that I enjoy in my life. Everything that I've learned and I'm going to try to compile them into one place here on YouTube. So one of my first series that I'll be creating is the Conscious Living series. So this series goes over how we can better live gently on the planet, how we can eat better, how we can train better, how we can be in a better mental like mind space, how we can compost, how we can look at the chemicals that we use and see what is better for us and our family. So this is just stepping out of our day to day life without mindlessly going to the shops or mindlessly living our life. We can try to sit back, think and consciously live. Put our money towards things that we love. Show that we support good companies and show our support through the way that we use our money. So this is the Conscious Living series and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Now there will be things that I do that people are like, no, I don't like doing that. And that's completely fine. But I know there will be things within these videos that will come that can help your life as well as your family's. So I hope that you guys stick around. In a review, this is the products that I use on a daily basis. And I'll probably update this more when I create my own uh, body washes and things like that. So this is the follow-up video from the last one. The last video I just went over like what products were bad. I didn't go over what products I use now. So these are the products that I use on a daily basis with me, my family and my baby. So I've got a few hair products that I use. My hair is like a whole different thing. It's just through pregnancy, postpartum, I lost all my, like a lot of my hair. All this up here is new hair. It's just not as shiny. Anyway, it's a big journey that I'm going on with my hair, but I use a shampoo bar and this is being reused from an old container. It's really good, it leathers up really nice and it gives you a really deep clean. That's what I really like about it. I'll probably continue using these. I do have a conditioning bar, but it's not as good. It doesn't really condition my hair, so the shampoo bars are really, really great. You can just buy these from any health store, really, but I have the one that's from Flannery's. It's really, really good. I also use the Sheer Moisture. Now, this is uh, cruelty-free, and so is this one. This one's cruelty-free, palm oil-free, um, sulfate, paraben-free, both of them. But this one still has phenixy ethanolin, so it's not completely natural. It still has like kind of a funny scent, like fragrance to it, um, which I don't exactly like, but I heard it's really good. And it does work for my hair, so I just put it on the end and that's it. So the sheer moisture, I'm probably going to finish this and buy a different one, but yeah, this is really great. Now, something that I really love is apple cider vinegar rinse. It is so, so good. I thought it would dry out my hair, but it doesn't. So I only put about like a third, maybe? Maybe a quarter? Maybe just a quarter at the moment, yeah, of apple cider vinegar. And the rest, purified water, and about 10 drops of lavender. And I use this as a conditioner on my scalp, and it's so, so good. I leave it on my scalp for about two minutes, and then rinse it out. And it's, I probably do it about once a week, and it's super, super good. Use my hair really soft and like, you know, just really, really good. Coconut oil. So this is unrefined cold pressed coconut oil. It's just from Aldi. I think it was like $3 or something, but it is so good. I use this for a treatment for my hair. I use it for coconut pulling in my mouth to pull out toxins and to teeth widen. And I also use it as a moisturizer as well if I'm super like dry somewhere. So this is super good. It's only, yeah, three, four dollars. And it has like so many different uses. So get yourself some coconut oil. It's so good. Plus you can use it for cooking. It's really, really good. Definitely recommend. This is another iffy one. So I have the Sukin Natural Deodorant. Um, we all know Sukin is a natural brand. But I'm not 100% 
happy with the smell. It smells okay, but like I wouldn't wear this to the gym. I don't wear this if I know I'm going out, like meeting people and things like that. I just wear this if I'm at home and just running errands. Like I don't see anybody I know. <laughs> Because it doesn't completely get rid of the odour and things like that. So that's why I use still the drugstore or Dove one. Um, when I go to gym and all those other places. So I know these are really bad. But I haven't found a better alternative. And to me it's like I want to smell good. I don't want to smell like bad in public. So just got to find the healthy medium. So uh, One that I use on my skin. Instead of moisturiser I really like to use just rosehip oil. This is a Sukin rose hip oil it is so so good I put this on morning and night um and I just keep doing it I'll put more on if my skin's dry or less on if my skin's not as dry but I probably use this every single day rose hip oil so so good uh, this is a lush pot dream cream I use this for babies moisturizer and a little bit of coconut um, oil but Mainly this one. It's really, really good. It helps my eczema go away. So, I haven't, like, I've read the ingredients and it says it has perfume and all this other stuff in there. But it says naturally occurring in essential oil. So, I'm not 100% if this is actually natural even though it is marketed to be that way. Um, it wasn't on the Think Dirty app. So, I'm not 100% sure. But this works for my eczema and baby's eczema. So, if there's another product or moisturizer out there that you think is good for babies, please let me know. I would appreciate it. Now this isn't a natural product either, but um, it's better than pseudo cream. And it really, really, really works. So she's never had a nappy rash because of this cream. You can find this at any chemist. Um, but it's zinc and castor oil cream. It is so, so, so good. I haven't found an alternative yet, but... Like, I don't want to risk her getting a nappy rash just because I haven't found a, a better alternative, if that makes sense. So, this is really, really good. If you're trying to find a good nappy cream for your baby, this is super good. Uh, this is another, like, iffy one, the Gaia hair and body wash I use for baby. Please, please, please do not, whatever you do, don't use Johnson's and Johnson's. It is so bad. If you download that Think Dirty app and go under it, or you just watch my past video it has so much bad stuff in there and there's so many cases of it related to cancer just please do not just try not to use that for presents tell people to get you Gaia at least this still isn't a hundred percent like natural but it's better than Johnson's and Johnson's so hundred percent natural would be like I eventually would love to um, make my own body wash and that from Dr. Bronner's um, castile soap but till then, this is good enough. So yeah, it's, it says it's organic and no soap, no harsh chemicals, no fragrance like that. So this is really good. It smells great and it is quite um, moisturizing. So that's a good one to you. The last one that I want to talk about is washing powder. Now I use a normal washing powder on my clothes. But on baby's clothes, I don't use any store-bought washing powder anymore. I use this washing powder. Now, this was actually sent to me from this super awesome lady that I met on Instagram. Um, she goes through, like, homemade things like that. This is made from washing sodas and salt. Um, and you just put, like, there's my spoon in there. And you just put a few, like, teaspoons of this into the washing machine along with an essential oil that you want so I use the doTERRA lavender oil so I use this mixture and this for babies washing clothes and if it's really dirty I might wash it rinse it and soak it a little bit beforehand but it pretty much gets everything out and it smells great like lavender I love lavender too because it helps you know de-stress and like kind of relax so that's why I use this and this big one instead of the shop brought um, washing powders and things like that on her skin because she has bad eczema and stuff like that so I just choose to use this plus it's like lasted so so long you only need like a teaspoon so it's actually saving so much more money 
So these are a few products that I use on my daily basis. I do still use um, the Eseno cleanser. I still use like perfumes here and there. I don't use them every day like I used to. I use them when I go like on date night or special dinners, but I don't wear perfume on a daily because of the fragrance factor. Um, yeah, I still use like normal toothpaste and normal mouthwash and, and as well as the coconut oil. So it's just like weighing things up and like doing what's best for you and your family. And if you're transitioning to like an eco-friendly, low-tox family household, just do what you can with what you have. So even these things here, I'm going to still use them until they run out and then I'll make my own homemade ones. So just do what's best for you and your family. Try find a better alternative once you run out of a product. But yeah, don't stress too much about everything as well. Read the labels, try to find things that don't have fragrance, that are sulfate and paraben free. If you look for those three things, then that's a great start. Also cruelty free, please try to find cruelty free things. I love animals and I just hate the fact that we're you know, testing our stuff on animals when there are so many formulas out there that you don't need to test on animals. Plus, all natural products, you won't need to test on them anyway. So, try find cruelty-free things and yeah, just do the best that you can. It can be a little overwhelming starting out, but if you just start where you can and do what you can, everything will be alright. So thank you for tuning in to this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to keep up with more future videos that I upload. And I hope that you guys enjoy the videos to come. Bye.